naked shamanism. Welcome to With Insights Radio. I'm your host, Iggy Garcia. I will take you on a journey across the universe through shamanism, metaphysical, and holistic. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. All right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. It's good to be here. Today is Tuesday, sometime in May. Who knows? Anyways, I just want to say hello to everybody. Just checking in. Welcome to the Mind of Iggy. Another little short podcast moment, which we're going to share. I wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit today about the word focus. That's right, focus. You know, last time we were here on on Facebook, chatting along and sharing our thoughts, my thoughts, your thoughts, uh, I was talking about um, change. All right, cool. We got through the change part, and we're working through the change part. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Good to see everybody. It's good to be here. Waving back to everybody. Everybody's doing well. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. It's good to see you all. Good to see you all. Good to see you all. Anyhow, last time I was here with you guys here on Facebook, we talked about change and um, and what it re- required. And we also talked about that serious change, that frustration change, that thing that just knocks you and makes you want to go to the next level. Okay, now that you've moved to the next level, you're kind of left with a big bag in your hand and wondering which direction to move. And for a lot of us, you know, the directions are many. And sometimes we have to pick one good direction and go with that in order to get us to going in the right one. So now what we're going to do here, we're going to talk a little bit about focus. Focus is super, 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 super important. Okay, so imagine this. Imagine, you know, those of you who know this, this fact, our brain is encapsulated in total darkness inside of our skull. Never seen the day of light. Okay, but yet somehow, in some way, it translates out into the world and re- brings in the information back into our side inside the brain it sends out all these electrical impulses through sight sound touch feel smell and it works through there never has the brain ever seen daylight it has to interpret what daylight is you're living in your own personal personal matrix your own personal matrix where you are actually are you human are you a brain are you in the dark trying to figure out what's outside of you stimulating it's a really it's a really interesting question to propose sometimes when we wonder who are we what are we and how do we stay focused okay i don't want to get too far off topic because that's a whole different topic there but anyhow um i will be podcasting regularly on my old channels that i've been doing because i i just took a break and personally sometimes you have to take a break and you have to refocus regather yourself kind of get back on track I've been trying to do these little shorts right now, these little short mini uh, Mind of Iggy type things, uh, one minute changes. You'll be seeing a lot more of me. I've decided to just go um, take this whole career full time and just kind of share with me and with you thoughts that are inside my head, uh, doing more podcasts, doing more drummings, doing more of the work, the holistic work that I do. Um, You know, we can't be afraid. We can't be afraid to just step out and do that. And for some of us, that is a little scary. And, you know, for me, yeah, it's scary, but I had other things that also helped me along the way. And so what happened was I got comfortable. I got really comfortable. I got comfortable in the situations that I was in, uh, the relationships that I was in, and all the different things that come along with that. And then I got to this point where I decided, well, I've been dealt these cards. And we all get dealt cards. Every single, single one of us gets dealt these different types of decks, cards, and hands. And then we have to decide... If they really work for us or not and for some of us yeah it worked great and for other of us not so much so I decided well here's the del- here's the deck that I got and here's the cards that I've got I can cash them all in I can fold I can turn them out or I can just not play I could just create my own game create my own reality create my own world you know and that's that's where I'm at right now is creating the game so if the game doesn't fit me or suit me and that cause and effect doesn't work for me, then I'm ready to completely change it. Change the forecast, change the barometric uh, temperatures and things in my life and kind of go out and make it happen. So that's kind of where Iggy Garcia has been. I'm not sure where you've been, but so, but I'm here to talk a little bit about focus. When someone wants change in their life, 
and they've made the change, they get stuck in the point of, you know, now we're in the change and now where do we go? How do we move forward? Okay. So that's kind of where we're at today. This is what we're going to be talking about today. How do we focus? How do we go forward? How do we move into that direction? Because focus is important. First of all, you have to ask yourself, each of us have to ask our own selves, are we happy with the life that we have? And most of us have made a decision that we're not happy with the situation we're in and we're not happy with the things that come into our lives. But yet we allow a lot of things to come into our lives and a lot of those things affect our lives. They affect the f physical um, and the mentality of uh, who we are and how we feel about and how we move through life. So once we make that change and we decide that, you know, we are not going to live the way we're going to live, now we have to find direction. We have to find focus. What is going to be our primary way of traveling? Which way are we going to go? What is our goal in life? What is our ambition in life? Are we happy with being a nine to five? Are we happy working third shift, second shift? Are we happy in the situation where we have now in front of us that we've decided to change? Those are super important things to ask ourselves because if we're happy with that, then smarter be more de dedicated to yourself and for your cause because remember no matter how much you, people love you no matter how much people uh, want to help you you still got to do the work you still got to be the one who motivates pushes and gets you to the next level wakes you up because you're the one who wakes up in the morning you're the one who gets up you're the one who has to get out of bed you're the person and these are logical things that i'm telling you but these logical things sometimes we oversee them and we take them for granted we take them for granted because we do it every day we have to really work forward, march forward into this place to help us to stay focused on the direction we want to be. Now, we've all gone through changes and we're all going to go through changes and that's never going to stop happening. But when we get to the point when we change, we have to work to this desirable place called focus. Now we're focused. Now we have the direction. Now we have to know where we want. Cause and effect is super powerful and it's something that affects everybody. Whatever we do affects us in a lives but yet they don't know how to move forward after that they don't know how to move into the next level the next um, incarnation of who they see themselves being you know remember a lot of us who are here probably don't have a lot of people who help us do a lot of this stuff so a lot of the work we're gonna have to do ourselves sometimes we have to find good mentors we have to find good people who are gonna be with us people who are gonna walk with us and then gonna be people can just fall away the biggest thing is not to be surprised when certain things happen to you. We get surprised only because we feel that our plan was flawless. And there is no such thing as a flawless plan. Just got to keep going. You got to keep moving. Okay? And stay focused. Focus is probably the, one of the biggest things that you're going to probably run into. Something that you're not going to be able to, you know, maintain sometimes. Because we can get unfocused so easily. We can get off our track and out of, out of, out of range of what we want to do. And that's kind of where what happens to us at times. So as we stay focused, we stay dedicated, we stay, you know, on task. Now, I'm not here to tell you what you have to do or how you have to be, because that's really up to you to decide. I'm only here to let you know how I look at it and how I'm moving through it, and hopefully it gives you a better idea. Now, I will be podcasting about these topics that I've been talking about in order to get people into the right direction. And I can tell you this because I'm just like you. And I've gone through these changes and these feelings, these emotions. And so, am I qualified? Of course I'm qualified. I'm qualified because I'm a human being just like you. And every single one of us has the opportunity to share, not share, or want to share. I choose to share. And by choosing to share, hopefully it helps you get down that road and down that path that you need to. All right? Well, I'm getting kind of messages that I'm freezing up. So, that's kind of my cue that... This is probably not going to be a really good day to continue recording this alive on a live stream. But um, I will contact you all. I will keep you posted. 
on my uh, social media networks. And just look for my things. All right. And uh, love you guys very much. Be well. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see each other soon. And uh, have a great Memorial Weekend. And for those of you who want to go on a shaman walk with me, I have one coming up this Saturday at, uh, down at Cedar Falls in Hockey Hills. Starts at 10 a.m. So check in with me. Just drop me a line. Tell me what you want to talk about. Tell me what you want to hear. All right. I'll talk to you soon.